Um, I think women, we've always been under tremendous pressure in terms of body image. What I would say, having worked in the fitness industry for 10 years, I think there's been a real shift. It's less about how we look and more about how we feel and empowering yeah. women. And t 10 years ago, women were constantly on a treadmill for an hour. Now it's more about going into the weight area, being strong and healthy. And I think it's a really empowering thing. Women, after the age of 30, it really increases bone density. We're at risk of osteoporosis. Um, and also it's more effective training. So Fair wants to empower women, Jenny. Mm -hmm. She wants them to go and take control and feel fit and healthy. Do you mm -hmm. feel empowered by seeing pictures like that? No, I feel I feel quite depressed, actually, and I feel pressured. I, it's interesting because I've always kept fit in one way or another over the years. Um, and I'm 50 this year. And, uh, you know, I, I, I sort of have a very sort of, uh, you know, I do a couple of, of sort of training sessions myself each week, I do a bit of yoga and I do what suits. And also I've got a life. And what happens now is I've kind of got this list because I'm so pressured by what I'm seeing on social media. And it does happen. I mean, I don't even follow uh, on Instagram any, any sort of, I call them physique competitors. Because mm. I think that, you know, in our, our stage in life, or I've got a 16-year-old daughter, you're getting in your subconscious, even if you don't want it, you're getting this image now that's been thrown at you, which, quite frankly, is, um, I think it's unhealthy I in a way. It's, it's, it's extreme. extreme. The power is with women at the moment. We're, we're put, real women are posting real pictures of real bodies, and there's more diversity online. You're getting curvy, all, you're getting it, skinny, it, and you're getting muscular. But is it real, and, and I think, it's, it's, Is it real? I mean, it, I well, what is real? Who am I to judge? What what's healthy for one person or the other. I think if that anything, the ripped image, though, that you see now, to get to that point, people have to do... They, they have to... Their nutrition and the way they have to, to sort of diet and exercise to get to that ripped place is not healthy. You know, I don't just subscribe to the hashtag strong, not skinny. I'm saying, when, as women, we don't have to conform to an ideal at all anymore. It's what's healthy for you. It's being the best version of you. And in fact, I think it's more about how you feel as opposed to how you look. And women feel stronger. You know, in my experience, men tap themselves on the shoulder and go, hey, I smashed it, I lifted heavier, I ran faster. And women, we typically say, oh, I've got far to go. Whereas now women are saying, Jenny, hey, I'm okay. lifting heavier. It's not Jenny, empowering, been, though. I think it's Jenny, really Jenny, you've been, you've been in the media for many years now. Yes. And you must have, over the years, felt very under pressure to be a certain shape, to yes. look a certain way, of yes. course. But, and, and I guess what Faye and what Kate was trying to say is that the idea that, that you're going to be strong and healthy... I think strength which, which is in, great. ...which involves eating properly, not starving yourself yeah. to get yeah. to a certain shape, has to be sort of more positive than maybe some of the images when you started out in telly, when it was all about, and, and, mod, and the models and stuff, and it was all about just being a very, very slim, skinny person. Yeah, I mean, I'm not condoning, obviously, that the slim, skinny person type look that we have. And I, I believe in the, the, the fact that strength is good, strength, flexibility. Um, but also, uh, what's happening is, I think there's a very sort of, uh, it, it's such a completely um, unattainable to get to the, to the images we're seeing, but it, it's implanted in our in our subconscious now. That's what I'm saying, that, you know, you've got to... I, I, you know, my kids even go, oh, have I got a six-pack? And I'm like, why Why do they know about a six-pack? You know, uh, why, mm. why are we feeling that being... Is we're women, we're, we're being supposed to be curvy. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're for sort of bearing Aren't children. You, Jenny, and you're on the same side, we have a childhood obesity problem, don't yes. we? Yes. point, the NHS is spending 20 billion on obesity, and that applies for women, men. It's not gender-specific, that's but another good point. But also for eating you disorders, know, how and, much are they and spending? If, if anything, you know... When I started out, it's more about posting informative posts on like how, on healthy eating and training. It's not about conforming to a particular look. It's more about you education. Say that, but it can feel like it's you're conforming to a look because those are the ones that get the most likes, aren't they? That's what youngsters might be thinking. I'm not, do you you know, know what? There's I'm not, not sure. many pictures of wobbly bellies I'm not that sure. are celebrated Again, on social media. Again, going back reading. to it's real women posting their stories and achievements, they come in all different shapes and sizes. It's not necessarily six pack. It might be you've done your first marathon, you've overcome an injury, mm -hmm. you know, you've done your first pull, first pull up. And I think women, there's a real community out there and they're all supporting and encouraging each other. There's lots of people but getting into I think into you're us. saying about real women, what, for real women, and that's people like, well, well, I think sitting at home, that's me. Um, I'm feeling a pressure. I am. Um, because the, the, the whole image that we're, we're being sent out now is something that's 
that you know you, you, you fat the percentage to get to a lot of imagery it's just not right it's not Clint, healthy okay these are some of the, the comments that you guys have thank you for all of these as well because there's lots of them clint says fit at uh, first it was size zero models which is an unhealthy aspiration now it's fit girls who eat well and exercise regularly these women are inspirational why shouldn't they be celebrated uh, it's perfectly fine because anyone can go to the gym and get ripped there's no surgery involved sarah says we celebrate curvy women but if women are toned and ripped apparently it's negative i don't understand it am i missing something surely all women should be celebrated whatever their size Lots of people saying, how can it be wrong if you're trying to be fit and healthy? So even the challenge to attain the look that Faya and some of her other contemporaries might be putting out there, Jenny, mm -hmm. is something that does drive young people to kind of go, I'm going to go and try and attain that look and I'm going to work really hard to do it. And that's someone else saying, surely these kind of pictures show that hard work pays off and not starving yourself. Yeah, but isn't that a pressure? Isn't that a pressure already, you know, to pressure attain anyway? that look, that look? It, aren't they under oppression anyway? anyway yeah. Well, yeah, but aren't we? Right. I Women think we're drifting. Yeah. And if anything, we are in power. It's a hundred, hundred years since suffragettes. You know, mm. women are now taking charge. We're choosing to post what we feel relates to other women. And like you say, it's not about one size fits all. It's being your personal best. So it's you do get more diversity online. It's no longer just an editor deciding on what who who's on the cover of a magazine. You know, it's all women are welcome, to, you know, regardless. And I think any, if anything, it's making women be more accepting of their body type. The problem is, what I see though, a lot of people and a lot of Instagrammers and, like I say, physique competitors, they're doing it every day, all day. You know, for people like me, you know, I've got to cook the kids tea, I've got to do the school run, I've got to have a job. Uh, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, then I've got to uh, make sure my, my abs are half decent because, you know, <laughs> I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks.